Uncle Benjamin. Oh. You're right for the pass. Come with me. There's no time. The death of Benjen Stark was amongst many of the things that felt wrong about the last few seasons of Game of Thrones. While he honorably saved Jon at the last second by giving him his horse to escape from the oncoming army of others, it also felt very unsatisfying considering what a huge catalyst Benjen played in the A Song of Ice and Fire series as a whole for many characters, but especially Jon himself. When Jon tells his uncle to get on the horse with him, Benjen tells him there is no time. And it would seem that translates to no time to explain what the hell is going on here. John is sent on his way back to the wall, while Benjen holds off the massive army of whites that charge toward the warm-blooded men. However, Benjen isn't warm-blooded at this point. The show Game of Thrones merged Benjen's story with a character called Cold Hands, who saves the lives of several characters throughout the book series, including Sam, Gilly, and Baby Monster. He rescues Bran and Mira from the others chasing them through the haunted forest and explains what happened to him when he'd gone ranging beyond the wall. He tells them that the others stuck a sword through his gut and left him for dead, bleeding in the snow. But the children of the forest rescued him and drove a blade of dragon glass through his heart to prevent the effects of the others from taking hold. This was the same way the Night King was created in the flashback from Season 6, Episode 6. It is very interesting to contemplate why the children chose to do this for Benjen at all. It seems unlikely that it was simply because he was a brother of the Night's Watch, since the Black Brothers are an assortment of all types of men from highborn to the lowest criminals and everywhere in between. Most likely the children chose to save him because of his stark blood, which says a lot about how the children operate and honor whatever ancient pack was created between the Northmen and the indigenous people of Westeros. The Starks honor the old ways, communing with the weirwood trees, and carry skin changing and green seer genetics in their bloodline. Benjen spent most of his life ranging beyond the wall, and so he was even more familiar with the old ways, which are still practiced north of the wall by the wildlings. And so his stark blood seems to be the reason why the children chose to rescue Benjen and save his life. Considering that the children saved Benjen from near death by shoving a dragon glass dagger through his heart, their goal seemed to be to save him from becoming a mindless other to gain him into their service to the Three-Eyed Raven. Benjen, or Cold Hands, is obviously not among the living. He has pale, milky skin other than his hands and feet, which are black due to the blood congealing at the end of his extremities. He does not eat or drink, though he hunts so Bran and Mira can eat. And he cannot pass the threshold of magical places, such as the Wall or Blood Raven's Cave. So clearly, he is dead, but not part of the Night King's army of dead, because he is sentient and fights against the others. His mind is independent from the hive mind effects that control the lifeless others. With this in mind, it seems unlikely that Benjen was actually killed by the others the very last time we see him. Yes, they tackle the undead warrior as he swings his flaming mace at the onslaught, but we don't actually see him die. If he is undead, we must consider how he can become well, more dead. In typical zombie lore, this would require getting his head chopped off or being blown up, but we just didn't see anything like this with Benjen, which leads me to believe this may be the perfect way to lead into the new Jon Snow series. The new series has not yet been greenlit, but we've all heard about it at this point. With the massive hype already buzzing around it, it seems like the fans are ready to see the rest of Jon's journey. Jon's story in Game of Thrones felt extremely sloppy in the final few seasons. The foundation of his storyline was a strong lead up to becoming king in the north and a great warrior in the long night, but that was thwarted by his little sister in the final season, leaving him the grisly task of queen slaying and little else. After spending the majority of the series following the hero's journey, Jon deserves to have his story refreshed and retold in a way that feels more aligned with the natural build of his arc. Back in Season 2 of Game of Thrones, the Night's Watch decide to head north of the Wall to find Benjen Stark, alive or dead. Jon was determined to find his uncle on that first venture beyond the Wall, but he got more than he bargained for when the new recruits encountered the others at the Fist of the First Men. Benjen was never found, though Jon thinks of him often throughout the A Song of Ice and Fire series. Later, Benjen, or Cold Hands, rescues Bran and Mira in Season 6 and has time enough to explain what had happened to him. But when Benjen rescues Jon in season 7, he doesn't have time to explain the changes he's gone through. 
and though he is attacked by the others, it seems that rather than killing him, they would have taken him hostage. Benjamin Stark would be so much more valuable alive than dead in case a bargaining chip were ever needed. For viewers considering coming back for the new Jon Snow show, it could be interpreted as a little redundant, or even a cheap shot by HBO to fix season 8. There's not even source material to work from, since The Winds of Winter has still not yet been released. But there is still a huge desire for answers that we just did not get in season 8 of Game of Thrones, and so it would be prudent to find a way to hook viewers in if they still might be skeptical. A fantastic way of gaining the audience would be to put a beloved character in an extremely dangerous situation. We might consider that Benjen is still alive and a hostage of the White Walkers, or a power even greater, which controls the Night King, a source of the hive mind effect. If there is a bigger war looming and the Long Night was just the beginning, then it seems obvious that this would be the storyline that the Jon Snow show would follow. The perfect catalyst to kick this show off would be proof of Jon's beloved uncle, lost for years beyond the wall, to lure Jon further into the north to meet his ultimate fate and finish what was started. Jon would feel compelled to rescue his uncle Benjen, no matter the odds. When Bran has his first vision, he looks north and what he sees terrifies him and chills him to the bone. Whatever war is happening between the Great Other and the Three-Eyed Raven is something exponentially larger than the small-scale, long-night battle that took place in one whole episode of Game of Thrones. Joseph Maul, who played Benjen Stark, was perfect for the role and has become fixed in the minds of fans as Uncle Benjen. There could be no other. This incredible actor always dives deep into the roles he plays, and his recent role as Adar in The Rings of Power stole the entire show. But unfortunately, just a few weeks ago, shocking news came out that his role had been recast to Sam Hazeldean. This was completely out of left field because Joseph had done such an incredible job as Adar. His statement on Twitter implied he'd left on good terms to move on to other worlds. And once the initial shock of his departure set in, the first thing that came to my mind was the new Jon Snow show. Did Joseph Maul leave Rings of Power to reprise his role as Uncle Benjen in the new Jon Snow series? The timing seems entirely coincidental, and seems like the best explanation as to his sudden departure from the Amazon series. Rings of Power was met with mediocre reviews, despite high hopes, and HBO seems to be putting all of their eggs into the Game of Thrones world in efforts to match Disney's expansion of the Marvel and Star Wars universes. With the unrivaled success of House of the Dragon, it would seem like an easy choice for Joseph Maul, if given the opportunity, to return to a beloved role with a much higher chance for success. No one wants to go down on a sinking Numenorean ship if they don't have to. There is so much more to consider about Benjen Stark's bigger role in the A Song of Ice and Fire story, especially once the new Jon Snow series begins. He plays such a crucial role in the early parts of both the books and show, and his death and final appearances left so many questions, especially for Jon. One of the biggest reasons Jon felt so determined to get to the Wall was because his uncle had already been serving there for many years, though this did give him a false sense of security to be found in that very comfortless place. We have to assume that Jon was subconsciously steered toward this lifestyle all throughout his life by Ned and Benjen, and certainly by Catelyn. The Wall seemed like the only place Jon would ever find a home for himself, and Benjen was a huge influence in grooming this as a natural choice for young Jon. But whether or not this was part of the Promise Me Ned arrangement with Jon's mother Lyanna is a question I plan to address in another video, so keep an eye out for that. But what do you all think? Do you think the return of Uncle Benjen will be yet another catalyst for Jon to head even further north in the new Jon Snow series? Would you like to see Joseph Maul return to his beloved role as Benjen Stark? Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and please consider joining my Patreon linked below. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!